Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new project, which is called Chrome GPT. And it's basically a sophisticated version of auto GPT. Now for the people who do not know, it's a new autonomous AI application, and it's an agent that has been designated to operate within the Chrome browser. And this is something that we can see in this example right here. And basically this agent is equipped with the necessary tools to interact with Chrome and by that's by using as well as utilizing baby AGI as well as Langchain. And what this does is that enables it to take control of an entire Chrome session. Now with the interactive features of Chrome GPT, it's actually capable of performing various different tasks such as scrolling, clicking, and inputting text on a web page. Now, in my opinion, this could be quite useful and it could be used for a lot of use cases. And this is some examples that we were gonna be checking out in today's video. Now, this has been created by Richard and I'll leave all the links down in the description below a huge thanks as well as appreciation for this person to actually create such an amazing project like this and in today's video we're just going to break down how we can actually install it as well as taking a little, little bit longer to actually dive deep as to understanding what this project is trying to accomplish some of the requirements as well as taking a better look as to what we can do with this actual application so with that thought before we actually get into the video if you guys haven't subscribed please do so guys I post every single day and I try my best to give you the best content and I'm striving to continuously work towards getting you the best value as well as the latest news. So be, make sure you turn on your notification bell, like this video and comment anything you want to see in the future. Also, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. Now with that thought, let's get right into the video. So let's actually take a look at this demo right here. So they gave it a prompt, an input prompt. Find me a bar that can host a 20% event near Chelsea, Manhattan. What's kind of funny is I was actually quite, quite like close to this place very recently. Now evening is saying that on the evening of April 30th, fill out contact us form and if they have one with info name richard email this so basically told it to fill out this actual application on this website for the state so you're trying to reserve something with the following requirements in this prompt now what this actual application does utilizing actually chrome and we can see right here that it actually searches the web to find different places and bars that will be available at that specific time and it will definitely input all the different things that is needed for the actual reservation now this is absolutely outstanding because the fact that you're able to autonomously have agents that will like basically be your own secretary in a way and it will basically fulfill different things for you which is quite remarkable guys and we're coming to an age where we're going to be seeing this a lot more often with different people utilizing types of technology as well as applications like Langchain and as well as baby AGI to make certain things like this. Now in relation to those two things basically this actual application functions using those two key technologies of baby AGI as well as Langchain. Now for the people who do not know what baby AGI is it's basically a function functional like artificial and general intelligence application and it's a type of machine learning algorithm that is designed to basically help the actual app learn and reason like a human now it actually enables chrome gpt to enable text processing through natural language commands from the actual user and it allows it by performing tasks such as navigating web pages which we saw in this example you can also input text as well as click on different links now how is langchain involved well basically langchain is also a natural process language processing framework and that has been actually integrated into this application and what it does is that enables seamless interactions between the agent as well as the user now langchain also provides a mechanism for users to communicate with the agent using natural language commands which can be interpreted as well as executed by the agent it also utilizes the different tools that langchain provides to actually make this actual app function now, in practice, you're actually able to input natural language commands through Langchain, which is processed by Baby AGI algorithm. And then it is basically determined, determining the appropriate action to take utilizing these two applications. Now, the agent that they have created within the Chrome 
you like Chrome GPT utilizes the capabilities of this whole application and it basically has a browser automation tool to perform the requested tasks within this Chrome extension. And obviously this is something that they've done with Chrome only at this current point. They're obviously going to continuously work towards adding it to different browsers, maybe like Microsoft Edge or Firefox. But later on, we'll see different developments. Now, let's take a little bit like a, a little look as to what some of the features are. So Chrome GPT is a feature rich auto GPT agent and it offers a wide range of different features. Now, one of the most important things is its Google search feature and the agent basically is equipped with this ability to perform any single search on Google and retrieve search results using this actual web domain. And basically from this, you're able to have long term as well as short term memory management in which Chrome GPT can actually store information as to long term as well as short term memory. And this is allowing it to remember information as well as different types of like text so that it can inform future actions for different prompts. Now, a third feature is its Chrome actions. And basically the agent can describe a web page, scroll through a specific element and click on buttons and links. And this could be quite useful as you can input forms and switch tabs with the actual Chrome browser. And there's also going to be different use cases of this later on as it's further developed. Now there's multiple agent types. Firstly, Chrome GPT supports multiple agent types, including a zero shot of baby AGI as well as auto GPT. And basically this is going to help it choose different agents for the best type of results that you will definitely need. And lastly is the Chrome Chrome plugin support. And this is something that they're going to have coming out very shortly. Now let's take a look at some of the requirements as well as how you can actually set this up. So for this, you're going to have to have Chrome installed, obviously, and you will also need the latest version of Python, which is 3.8, anything above that, as well as installing poetry. And what you can do is go on this link and it will actually demonstrate what you will need to install on your processor. And there's a lot of instructions on how you can do so. So make sure you do that by having this link in the description below. It's an addition to Python. So you need to make sure that you have Python also installed. You need to have a latest version above 3.8. So any of these versions are applicable. So I'll leave this link in the description below. You will also need Git to clone the repository onto your desktop as well as getting the files that you require to actually process this on your actual desktop. And lastly, you will also need an open API key. And this is something that you can get on open AI and you can access this using the link in the description below. Now, in terms of setup, you need to set up your open API key first and add it to the open API key as you install the end as well as the clone repository. So what you can do first is install all the dependencies as well as the repository onto your desktop by opening up your command prompt. Once you have done that, you can clone it by doing git clone and pasting the link of the actual repository. Now, once you're in the actual file, you can click CD and click into the file, which might be Chrome GPT. And once you're in that, you click enter. And once you're done that, you can start installing the actual dependencies that are needed for this actual application. Now, once you have done that, you can open up your code editor. In my case, I use Visual Studio Code. Once you're done that, you can open up the files that you require and what you need to do is edit the end file by inputting your open API key. Now I've done this many times in my previous videos with different installations. If you want to take a look, you can take a look at many of the other videos where I install it. Actually, this is quite repetitive, so I'm not going to show you exactly what to do because it's quite easy and it's quite like repetitive for me to do it every time. So if you go, if you want to actually learn how to do it, click on one of these videos and you'll get a better understanding of how you can implement it. Now, what you need to do next is open up your poetry shell. And this is by opening this prompt up in your command prompt. Now, once you're done that, you can run uh, Chrome GPT using this command. And this way it'll start opening up the actual application. Now, in terms of usage, you got to make sure that it's best optimized and recommended that you use GPT-4. However, you can also use GPT-3.5. And these are some of the requests that you can use to actually run these two actual different types of GPTs. Now, this is just an easy way of actually running it. I believe very shortly they're going to actually implement a web 
like actual device so that will actually help you a plugin that will be way more easier so that it will support as well as run these different applications agents so you don't need to install it locally now in the last part of the video i'm going to just show you and demonstrate some of the cool things that you're actually able to do in this case richard was actually able to buy an airpod and he was actually able to do this by writing the actual command that he gave it a prompt and basically it was able to go select the actual airpod that he wanted and obviously it was able to input the requirements as well as credit card and it was able to do that by giving it to the agent and it was able to purchase it which is absolutely amazing guys now this is something that could be very useful in a lot of different cases and I, as i said it's like a basically a secretary for you and you're able to do a lot with it and this demo it's using langchain and as well as the auto gpt agent and it gave it a prompt and this is the one that we looked at at the start where you have a 20 percent event and it's trying to find the right bar to use at the right time for its actual reservation and lastly there's one that it utilizes baby agi alongside with langchain and in this case if find it was given the prompt that find me the best michelin three-star french restaurant near hell's kitchen in manhattan and help me find the availability now in this case it took a little bit longer and it was able to find the best ones by searching through the web and finding the best michelin stars close to the area that it required and it then also searched the best timings that it was required and it inputs it into the actual application on Python. And this way you're able to get a better idea as to what you give from the prompt and it's then I'll put it to you on your studio code or your visual code. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. This is a little demo as to what they're trying to accomplish with this actual application. So I hope you found this video quite informative and quite helpful, guys. This is going to be quite remarkable and it will definitely make the overall process of your day-to-day -day life so much easier. Now, overall, I believe that Chrome GPT's range of features makes it a powerful tool for automating tasks within the Chrome browser, as well as expanding to different fronts now whether you need it to perform a google search navigate web pages or input forms it's going to be able to capably get the job done and i think that this is going to be something that will be utilized for a lot of different use cases so i highly recommend that you check this out guys thank you so much for watching check out richard give him a follow check out some of these other things as it will definitely give you a lot of information and as well as get you a better idea of how you can run this on your actual local desktop now with that thought guys if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos it would really mean the world to me if you guys can do so so thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video as it will definitely help the algorithm out and comment anything you want to see in the future so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching i thank you for always supporting and giving my support to this actual channel guys so with that thought i'll catch you guys next time have an amazing day have a great smile and i'll catch you soon peace out fellas